right, we are uh, at our first stop on the road to North Carolina. It's Friday evening, we left at 10. To Motel 6. Probably one of the more upscale uh, rooms we'll be staying in on our trip. What I like is the decor on the walls. It's real nice. About 15 miles outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. Getting gas, getting ready for our, our lunch stop. We will be dining at the Raccoon Valley Truck Stop. It's about the third hotel we've tried. We thought they were all too expensive. And this place is right up there with them, but we're giving up. A couple hours before game time. Got some other dorks we got here before us. But it's uh, apparently Jersey night for the kids today. Any inspiring words for us here? We're all rednecks down here. Thank you very much. <laughs> The running of the ball. Oh, my God. Who is number seventeen? The tall. With the yellow jersey, look at him. Oh, yeah, camera. 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 New Zealand. Australia. 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 We're here at the Mountaineer in beds watching Planet of the Apes. We got to the Hickory Baseball Field about noon. I actually thought the game was at 2, but it turns out the game is not until 6. We found a nice golf course here. All right, we got paired up with Al and Clyde. AKA Clyde. Clyde, as Al says. Clyde's on the right driving, Al's on the left. Clyde, how you doing, Clyde? Fine, how are you, sir? <laughs> Good. Al, how you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling great. Jason, why don't we put on tape here? Garrett, where'd you go? Uh, way right. <laughs> way right. Uh, Not a good golf shot. Okay. LP Fran Stadium. Home of the Hickory Crawdads. Jason? Yes, hi. Going yet? Crawdads, big game today versus the uh, Bomb City Bombers. <laughs> the Capital City Bombers. My name is Casey Austin. Casey Austin? Yeah, and I'm with Kicks 103.3, number one in the Catawba Valley for today's hot new country. In the what valley? In the Catawba Valley. Catawba Valley. But right now we're going to head down to Healthy Fran Stadium where uh, KC Austin is hanging out. She's going to tell us what's going on down there. Hey there, what's going on? It's kick's day at the Crawdads at LP Fran Stadium. I am KC Austin, and we're hanging out waiting for the game to begin. Looks like the Capital City Bombers may just get taught a lesson today. The Crawdads is going to teach them who's boss in the Catawba Valley. Game time is at 6 p.m gates are already open. The first thousand people through the gate are going to get a free first aid kit. That's right. So if you get hit in the head with a ball or something, you try to catch that pot fly, you'll have a first aid kit to do all the repairs and get back into the game. It's courtesy of Crown Healthcare. And check it out. We got two uh, special people with us here today, Mike and Jason, and they're from Chicago. Yeah. All right, yeah, All right. they've Go. come down. They're doing a little baseball tour around the area. Went to Asheville last night, and they came to, to the beloved city of Hickory in the Catawba Valley just to see the Crawdads whoop the Capital City Bombers. So come on out. I'm KC Austin, kicking it live for Kicks 103.3. Kicks 103.3. Wow. The whole city knows us now, Jason. Yeah. Well, wait, you don't.
Jason is really good at the chicken dance. <laughs> Can you explain the chicken dance contest? I'm, ki I'm kind of the, uh, <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good. It's got a pretty costume to put on. Nice. and yellow. All right. Well, yeah. We found a vacant gazebo. Garrett? Gazebo <laughs> time. Gazebo time. Good way to stay dry here. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Crawdad's gonna come back, you think? Yeah. Okay. Back to the gazebo. <laughs> Paul <laughs> 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 Wakers, first inning strikeout, third inning strikeout. Sixth inning strikeout, seventh inning strikeout. Did the offer? Strike one. Paul, Paul just wanted to put the ball in play. I know, he's got scared as hell. <laughs> Air strike, strike two. two. <laughs> History in the making. Come on, Paul. Get a piece what? of it now. One, three, two. This is for five. The elusive. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh. oh, he lays off of it. Time out, time out. Shot. Shot. In an unheard of move, the coach switched players with two strikes so the guy wouldn't have to strike out a fifth time. Never before have I seen that in 27 years on earth. I know. So we're just gonna just get closure on this at bat. We'll watch this guy strike out too. And we think the coach may have heard us talking. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that was... That was really weird. Oh. Huh. Rough job there. Five K. Guess who just caught a foul <laughs> ball? Official ball, South Atlantic League. Screamer. Moments after, the moment. <laughs> moments after the fist strike. Moments after the fist strike. One. Truth be told, sports fan, it was an error. We're at Grand View Golf Course, and as Mike pans around here, you'll see all the Grand Views, as opposed to Mountain View yesterday. Here we're on hole three, Mike's kicking my ass as he pans. We found a little friend here in the fairway today. Good morning, Mr. Turtle. Hello. He's a little shell shocked right now, if you get what I mean. Mike's got about 140 yards out, and here's his golf swing. Sounded solid, looked good. Really can't follow the ball, but we need to. I hit it just past the green. Thank you. We are on the, it's actually hole number two, but we started on the back nine. Yes. So this is our 11th hole of the day. 11th how are you shooting them? They're on the ball pretty solid. Okay. Um, you know, I'm pretty good. Right. Okay, what are you going to try to do here? All right, I'm going to start this ball uh, to the right part of the house and name it right at the chimney stack. Okay. For those non-golfers out there, don't try this at home. So 
important for lunch. We have uh, Wendy's as an option, KFC, Uncle Harvey's fish fry, but we're going with Big Pickens of America, Hickory Smoke Barbecue. University. Uh, here we've got the Wait Chapel, where there is no line to see God, and wow. the infamous quad <laughs> area. Yeah, uh, very quiet around here. Nothing really going on. We're here at the uh, Ernie Shore Field, home of the Warthogs. about this park tonight? Uh, Ernie Shore Field, it's actually technically it's historic Ernie Shore Field. It's about 55 years old. It's pretty famous. Liz, can you tell us about any of the players, famous second basemen here that have played at Ernie Shore Any Shorefield? players that you've dated before? Only one player. I've only dated one player. And has that player struck out tonight and bunted twice because he's a wuss? Why? Is that nice? Is that the official nice? scorecard says, yes, he has. Wait. Wrong side. Number one, Kevin Conacher. Conacher. Well, no one knows his name. He's in single A. <laughs> That's mean. Come on. We are here at the lovely Fieldcrest Cannon Stadium, home of the Piedmont Bull Weevils. Let's go, Piedmont! Woo! <laughs> Number one, baby. Number one. Jane, nice to meet you. I'm Mike. How you doing, Mike? I do very well, thank you. All right, give us some history on the park. This park is five years old. It seats approximately 5,000. Okay. And how long have you been at the Bow Weevils? This is my third year. I love it. Okay. It's unbelievable, as we say. Unbelievable. About 45 minutes before game time. Getting ready for some exciting Bow Weevil action. Intimidating bull weevil bug. Just kind of set up, set up camp here behind the dugout. Jason's ugly new shoes he got today. Howdy. Just having a couple cigars. Yeah, we got a, a pregame cigars going. Seeds, peanuts, program, journal. It'll be a good night here tonight. Cheat on Tanner. On your mark, get set, go. Come on, Tanner. Look at those. The Bull Weevil hasn't been very integral today. No. In the ball game. He's no Wally the Warthog. He is no Wally. Or Conrad the Crawdad. That's a good point. Why are you scoring at home? Ducks. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That is the ball game. Ben Ogilvy, former Milwaukee Brewer. Coach at number 24. There's number 32. He struck out four times. There he yeah. is, Paul Weicker. Ironically, he's had the bench today. Jason, what do you think of the room here tonight? Oh, yes. 
Sketchville. Sports fans, baseball fans, here we are today at World War Memorial Stadium in Greensboro, North Carolina for the Greensboro Bats versus the Capital City Bombers. Another exquisite uh, day for baseball. Mike and I are about ready to enter the other friendly confines of minor league baseball. Enjoy. sit here in the, uh, in the grandstand area, which looks very cool. Good. I want a large pure wine. All right. A green pure wine. It's good taste. It's a dice game. You pay money, roll the dice, whatever the dice add up to, you win that number pack of cards. Ooh. And there's a chance to win a baseball card plaque also. Ooh, Derek Jeter, huh? Yeah. Are you a big Derek Jeter fan? Uh, I'm not a real big baseball fan, but I do know who he is because he played here. Okay. Oh. Never had Jeter one. I have a friend of mine in Boston. Who I mail it to her about twice a year, a big old case of it. Really? Is it just in North Carolina or the entire it's South? It's a Southern thing. I think they have it in South Carolina. I know South Carolina and North Carolina. Okay. Okay, we've uh, claimed some seats here. Kind of a little... Backyard patio seats. Cheers. Some chairs. Nice table. And have you ever actually slapped anyone? Or is the PA guy just kidding? Okay. But it might come to that. All right. are up 5-3. Jason is having his... Um, Jason's actually putting this in his mouth. Um, if I ever get back going through root, root for the Cubbies if they don't win it's a shame for it's one two three strikes you're out at the old Jason, mm. being welcome. Don't worry. Mm. All right, it's welcome week, you know, for for freshmen here. Well, friendships are made for a lifetime. Yeah, I thought about joining the ROTC, but then re remembered I have work on Monday. Okay, we've wandered into a freshman orientation <laughs> meeting. We'll get a nice slideshow, learn more about the campus. Hopefully, we won't be discovered. Firing Tar Heel flag girls. Now, way out of campus in North Carolina, we're gonna make a quick stop in the Dean Smith Center. Wow. The man, MJ. Duke University, home of the Blue Devils. Yeah, this place is very tiny. <laughs> I think it only holds 7,000 yeah, 7, or so. Johnny Dawkins, Danny Ferry, Christian Leitner, Bobby Hurley, Grant Hill. 
finally, the Duke Gardens. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go watch some baseball. We're here in Zebulon, North Carolina, home of the Carolina Mudcats. We have our camera shy friend who's walking away. Shy friend, that's right. Hi, Eddie. Welcome to North Carolina. Thanks. We have your tickets Guys, I'm going to trade you tickets. No additional okay. charge. Ooh, I'm going right. to put you down there in that premium, back row of the premium, off to one side. Candace, what do you do here for the Mudcats? I'm a lady Mudcat. <laughs> what do lady Mudcats do, Candace? We sell programs and we have to be cute, like 24-7, no, that's the school. Well, you know what, Candace, you're doing a great job. So, is Zebulon a fun place to live? Quite frankly, it sucks. Oh, <laughs> why? It sucks, it's nothing to do. I make $20 a game, but not everybody makes $20 a game. Wow. Instead, I have a little respiratory problem. So. What's wrong with your respiratory? I have low blood oxygen. Bottom of first, we're starting off the inning, getting uh, first two batters out. Got a double, a home run. Ooh, got a double, a home run, a walk, an error, and a hit batsman. We are one ball away from Super Ducks. And the pitch. And ball high. We've got Super Ducks. He also plays second base. There's also two runs and two hits in the inning. Muddy the Mudcat is uh, pacing to the beat. And a pitch. Oh, walks in. The uh, bottom of the second inning here. <laughs> and the power has gone out. On a some of the lights here. And it just happened again. You ever been to Wrigley? I've been to Wrigley once uh, during the Harris County Republican National Traveling Road Show. And the Astros were on the road forever back okay. in 92. And uh, I caught a game there in the afternoon and at Comiskey at night. My favorite Mark's Fenway with Wrigley a close second. I got to get back to Wrigley again. That might change. I think. McCormick Field in Asheville just took over last night. I love that place. Right. So in uh, in Triple A, uh, Frontier Field in uh, Rochester is tremendous. And in Double A, I got two favorites. One is uh, near my house, Waterfront Park in Trenton. The other one is Thunder. yeah. The other one isn't nice that place. far away, uh, Reading Municipal Memorial Stadium. I probably had the most fun uh, Tuesday night down in Fayetteville. Oh, hey! batter fouled one off. And Is that it uh, Cape Fear? Cape Fear Crocs. Okay. And uh, the batter fouled one off, and it bounced right up into the uh, umpire's nether region. Nether region, okay. <laughs> this is a family show. Right, no, that's good. And, uh, Keep he the was, PG rating. Yes, and uh, so uh, he was out for a little while there, but uh, he did finish the game. I give him credit. Okay. Although his strike call was slightly higher. A little higher, Ben? Some advice about the ladies before. Oh, yeah. What's your advice? Uh, Don't ever spend money on them. Is that it? They're not worth it. Woo! 
what it's all about, huh? They even played the Bulls song for us. I know. I mean, come on. Come on. That guy would not shut up. But you know what, though? He's a consummate baseball fan. We let those bad traits go, and bottom line is he shares that, that same passion. Bottom line, I sat next to him and Jason did not. So I had to deal with this annoying banter the whole game, and Jason talks with funny kid Johnny and his dad Ross. Uh, Mudcats win 13 to 1. Not ever close. We are on our way to Durham to go see the Durham Bulls, and we found the mother load Chick fil A. Garrison. We pick up chicks. Yeah. This is where we pick up chicks. Uh, we are now at Durham Athletic. Athletic Park, former home of the Durham Bulls. But wow. some of the scenes from the movie Bull Durham were filmed here, as well as the park in Asheville. Let's check it out. I just found out this is a uh, women's professional softball team, the Dragon. Well, we're now standing in front of the New Durham Bulls Athletic Park. Just a tad nice here. Uh, just a tad nicer. It's got a mouthful of sunflower seeds. Then the uh, old park. Maybe I will be able to get a career in baseball. And the coolest part of the park. <laughs> Directly from the movie. We're gonna see the Amen guy falling asleep, he passed out from drinking beer. Maybe our final ducks. Ow. Our final ducks in North Carolina. Okay, I'm looking for my shoes. Oh! On the appeal, he gets rung up. The crowd is not happy. Any parting thoughts? I love North Carolina baseball. <laughs> Take care, guys. And See ya. Pull, pull pork. And pull pork on the same shoulder. Seven games and seven nights. Final game is over. We begin our trip back west. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to telephone with anyone. Yes, I'm gone to Caroline. 